So this is a 2021 NWCG compliant Type 3 wildland apparatus set up for full pump and roll. It's got a high mobility suspension all-terrain package on it. It's on a 2020 International CB chassis. It's got a 23,000 GBW. Um, that helps on the Type 3 because most Type 3s require a Class B license because they're over 26,000. This is 23, so it does not require a Class B license. Uh, operating weight on this truck is around 17 to 17.5. Um, is quite a bit less weight than an average Type 3. Most Type 3s are, you know, 24,000, 25,000 to 30,000 pounds operational. This has a 500 gallon tank. It's got a pump that'll do about 500 gallons a minute from the tank. It'll do 400 gallons a minute from a draft. Um, and that's at 80 PSI. And it's fully compliant and exceeds NWCG standards. So it'll do uh, 190 GPM at 250 PSI. So it's got both the pressure and the volume side. Very versatile pump. It's a 48 horse Kubota diesel. Uh, this has uh, your standard discharges in addition to the two and a half with an inch and a half reducer on it. You've got a hose reel up on top with 150 foot of red line. Uh, it's got bumper nozzles, so you've got sweeps on the right and the left side of the front of the truck. And a monitor that will do from 30 to 120 GPM. It's got full pump and roll capability from in the cab, so you can start the pump, check, change your pressures, um, and operate the, both the sweeps and the monitor from the inside of the cab. Uh, it's got about 100 cubic feet of storage, so it's pretty well equipped for storage. It's got a full rescue side body. It's got a rear slide-out tray. This is the new design that we just came up with. And this tray will hold about a 1,000 foot of one inch on one side and about 500 inch and a half on the other side and still have a little bit of room for some small hand tools. This does have full Class A capability, so it's got a 20-gallon Class A foam cell and a 500-gallon water tank. So roll-up doors all the way around. It's got a four-door cab. Uh, the cool thing about the Chevrolet CB is that, or the International CB, is that it's a Chevrolet cab. Um, and it's got an Allison 2000 series transmission with the Duramax engine. So it's a tried and true product. It's an international frame. It's a joint venture between International and Chevrolet and we've had really good luck with them. Uh, this is a very simple truck. It doesn't have a lot of high-tech suspension underneath it like the Fords and the Rams do. This is simply leaf spring in the front. Uh, the advantage is it's simple. It's very inexpensive to lift and modify. Um, the downside is the ride is not quite as good as the Fords and the Rams because those are using the uh, four lengths with the coilovers, but it is a very efficient system. Same as a big full-size HV or M2 Type 3. Uh, the tires we're running are 365 Super Singles. It's an R20 tire. It's military, um, and it's got more than enough capability for, uh, for this full Type 3. It's made for a much bigger truck. So there's a three-piece beadlock wheels. Uh, it's a bolt-together wheel, um, and it works exceptionally well in this application. They're rated uh, on the military rating of 8,000 pounds apiece, so a lot of capability. This truck also has front inch and a half discharge in addition to the two sweeps. So, and it's got loops on there, so you can put like a 50-foot section of inch or inch and a half on here for quick attack. Um, it's 16,500 winch, uh, worn winch for off-road recovery. Uh, very mobile platform for off-road operations. Because this truck is a tilt hood, we made the grill as a tilt. So it's got hinges down here, two quick connect pins, and then two quick pins for the monitor and the whole assembly will tilt forward to allow you to tilt the hood. So we've got a full poly console in here. We've got the controls for the Akron monitor in here, pump controls, throttle, start, stop, pressure switch. Uh, it's got water or water level gauge and foam level gauges in addition to your emergency light controllers and then a master switch in the front. It's also got front and rear cameras, got a front camera on the front monitor and got a rear camera on the water tank in addition to a GPS unit. Those are both mounted up on the top of the windshield. 
So this truck is very well equipped with emergency lights and scene lights. It's got Pioneer PFPs on both sides in addition to rigid dualies front and rear and sides and it's also got the light bar uh, the Whelan Legacy Bar populates as an entire scene light. In addition, it also has a traffic, traffic advisor portion built in. So the advantages of this chassis over a traditional, say, Freightliner M2 or international HV chassis would be that this is quite a bit lighter, up to 8,000 pounds lighter, still gives you a full NWCG compliant package both with the body and the pump and the tank. Um, it's high mobility so this truck has a lot more ground clearance than a traditional much larger truck um, and it doesn't require a Class B license because it's got a GBW under 26,000. Um, those are pretty big advantages. In addition it's about a hundred thousand dollars less than an equally equipped or lesser equipped full-size Type 3. Um, it's a lot of a lot of truck this is around a $275,000 truck that uh, would be closer to, you know, three seventy-five, four hundred dollars um, on a traditional chassis. Getting the foam, having a front monitor and sweeps, the winch, there's a lot of options on here. Um, and altogether, it's, this may not be a truck for everyone. Some people like the traditional PTO style Type 3s in a much larger chassis. Um, but if you need something that's highly mobile, a lot lighter, and a lot more cost efficient, this might be a good option for you.